Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Stay organized and streamline your task by integrating Google Keep with Google Calendar in 2023. This tutorial will guide you through the process of linking these two powerful tools, ensuring that your notes and to-do lists are seamlessly incorporated into your schedule. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that you will have to do is to actually log in into one of your Gmail accounts and then go ahead and search for Google Keep right into here. As you can see, there is a list of stuff. So here you got Google Keep. And the next thing that you'll have to do is to click here, got it, and then open the other application, which is Google Calendar. So here I'm going to click again, search for Google Calendar, which is this one. And now we have them both over here. So here, if you wanted to like create anything and add it to another application, uh, sometimes you will not really find it through here. You will not really find any way to kind of link both applications of Google together. If you want to settings, if you try to app downloads and add some shortcut that will help you, there will be nothing that can actually do that. So what should we do? Well, here there is this Git add-ons that can actually help you in case you could download them. As an example, there is here you can search for Google Keep. Here we go. We can search for Google Keep and you might find some good add-ons that might get to help you with what you want to do exactly but in general there is no such a solution so what you do in this case is we use another app that will link these both of these apps which is called Zapier so Zapier is an app that will automate any kind of task between two apps so here I'm going to show you how to look in there quick so first thing is to get to your own website of Zapier and then click on start free with Google then the second thing is to choose an email from your emails and then the next thing is to open the dashboard here you have the dashboard and here you can create the zaps but before we get to create any zap we have to add the apps into our app categories so here we have already google calendar as i have installed this for another tutorial but now we need to have the google keep so let's search for google keep and as you might see no matching connections since google keep is not really the thing that they are supporting at the moment they only have here let me just explore more so here if i went and searched for google apps you will only find kind of google sheet google calendar google drive google forms docs contact task ads google my business google chat google slides google analytics google bigquery meet analytics for google groups tables and yeah other stuff but in general the thing that we need exactly which is google keep doesn't really exist so how can we fix that now you have to go to your account simply by clicking onto the settings you will have all the settings of your accounts here you will have your billings or you will have the plan if it didn't show up for you in here, you can simply head up to the main page and it will be in the bottom of the page below the menu. So click here on upgrade plan and the next thing to do, which is wait for a page to load. Now it is loading for me and what you have to do is to get this professional plan. Now I know guys, it will not be free. Unfortunately, the plan that you have to go for to actually merge these two tasks or two apps you really have to get the premium version and it's not like any random premium version it is a 50 dollar cost premium version this is only if you took it for the annual plan if you go go if you gone for uh, the monthly plan you will have to pay around 73.5 dollar per month which is a very huge amount as you can see right in front of you and yeah now you have to decide either it is worth it to pay this amount of money for you to only connect these two apps or not if you do agree that it is worth it and that will help you doing your tasks and you can provide 73 or 50 dollars per month well it is completely up to you now let's continue 
So after upgrading your plan, you will have these two features, which are the key features that will help us to get the Keep Google app into our Zapier. You had the unlimited premium apps and the custom logic with paths. So these two are the ones that's going to help us through this. Let's start by upgrading the plan. So click here and upgrade your plan. And the next thing is simply head and choose your payment method. The payment method, you can be, as you can see here, pay annually or monthly and then here you can choose how you want to pay there is credit or debit card paypal and transfer bank this is for us only and this is the amount in case you were going from for a year you're going to pay around 600 in case you were going per month and you paid by the end per year you will have to be paying around like uh, the check 73.5 multiplied by 12 so you will be paying around 882 dollars so it will be another extra 200 dollars to pay if you want for the monthly plan instead of the annual plan now after you get it and you upgrade your plan successfully click on cancel here let me just show you so here in the bottom of the page will be a chat icon here it is, as you can see, it has appeared for me. So just click on it and then head up and talk to the support. So you can here click and send them the message and then start talking with the robot. Make it take you to a real person. And the next thing to do is to talk with that real human being, which is the support that you want to talk to. And then ask it that you want to use your key features, which are the unlimited premium apps and the custom logic path. This tool will help you to add this Google Keep as a custom app. And then head up to your Create app, head up to this text, and write whatever you want to do. For example, let's make whenever I make a task in Google Keep, link it to a date in Google Calendar, and let it generate it. Since I don't have Google Keep as my app, it will just randomly replace it with any other app that create tasks. And here it is as an example. So now you should just click on try it now. And then you have to connect both your accounts to these apps. So you have to connect your accounts that you have on as an example deep crawl, which is in our case has to be Google Keep and then connect to your account on Google Calendar. As you can see, it will be something like that. Connect to this account and then continue. Choose an action that you want or a value you want on this account. And then go all the way down, click on continue. Make sure to create detailed event to Google Calendar so they can just as a test. And then when you create it, click to test step. Since I didn't really make it, that's why it's giving me an error. And then after that, you will be ready to go. Both of them have to get this uh, this good mark instead of this exclamation mark or yeah. And then click on here at the top of the website, make it on and this fix to publish, turn it on as well. And then each time you create a new task or you write something on Google Keep, a new event shall be created on Google Calendar. And yeah guys, that was it with today's video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.